Can I do this part? Yeah. Okay, good morning. This is Daily Office on Thursday, April 8th. Um, this is Melody. And Bruce. And Bruce. Mallory. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here when we're taping this, so I hope it's good on Thursday. Um, but I'm reading from 2 Samuel, chapter 18, 28 to 33. Then Hemeza called out to the king, All is well! He bowed down before the king with his face to the ground and said, Praise be to the Lord your God. He has delivered up those who lifted their hands against my lord the king. And the king asked, Is the young man Absalom safe? Ahimazah answered, I saw great confusion just as Joab was about to send the king's servant and me, your servant, but I don't know what it was. The king said, stand aside and wait here. So he stepped aside and stood there. Then the Cushite arrived and said, my lord, the king, hear the good news. The Lord has vindicated you today by delivering you from the hand of all who rose up against you. And the king asked the Cushite, is the young man Absalom safe? And the Cushite replied, May the enemies of my lord, the king, and all who rise up to harm you be like that young man. The king was shaken, and he went up to the room over the gateway and wept. As he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, O oh, my son, my son Absalom, if only I had died instead of you. O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. This is the word of God for the people of God. And everybody says... Thanks be to God. What a conflict. Yeah, and it's sad. Um, and, and one thing that I get from, from this scripture, again, we had this conflict in this family. Uh, Absalom, David's son, was, was against his dad um, and basically went to war against his dad and ended up losing his life. Um, and in one way, David wanted to win, but another way he didn't because in winning the victory, he lost his son. Yeah. And so here we see David in the midst of grief. Um, and a lot of what happened started many years ago in some wrong choices that David had made in his life. And one thing that I've learned uh, about our choices many times is the consequences that we have. We have to think about the consequences of what we do and where it might end up, what might be the result of those consequences. Um, and I, I was, do you have a story or anything that you can think about with the boys? Oh, I was thinking, oh gosh, I was just thinking our about kids. Chris. Uh, and every day when we went to preschool. Chris is our youngest son. Yeah. Every, and he has ADHD, so, you know, he, it's a little bit of trouble if you don't keep him busy. But every day at preschool, I'd say you can either have a good day and do what the class is doing, or you can have a bad day and be in the corner. The choice is yours, because every choice has a consequence. It can be a good consequence or a bad one, but it's up to us to make that choice. And I think even God, I mean, he, yeah, sometimes um, he steps aside if we're just bound and determined. And I think sometimes uh, God allows us to fail. Um, we're not always rescued from the bad things that we do because I think sometimes that is one way we learn, isn't it? Um, sometimes it's, it's from failing. Way, but no, but sometimes it's from failing that we end up figuring out what way we really need to go. Um, but I think so many times in my life, if I had just stopped to think a minute amen. of the consequences, a I, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> I wouldn't have gone or I wouldn't have said something because how many times have we talked to people and we've said something and then after, as soon as the words are out of our mouth, we think, why didn't I, why did I do that? You know, and you can't take them back no. and then there's consequences yeah. and there's hurt feelings and, uh. So uh, today's daily office, I hope we'll just think about the consequences of every all our actions, but uh, especially when it comes to being a follower of Jesus Christ, uh, what is the results that we want? We want the results of love and, 
and kindness and justice and, and those things to be the result of our actions. Um, and hopefully uh, we're not doing something that's going to hurt someone else. So let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your word. Um, and there are so many stories of, of true-to-life people, people that had struggled with life, that things don't always go their way. And, and we have a picture of King David um, uh, in the midst of grief because he's lost his son. Um, but he lost his son because of some actions that, were, uh, that he did earlier in his life. And uh, he, he had to pay for those actions. Um, Lord, many times, though, you do reward us for the things that we do have, uh, that we do in our lives that are for you. Um, and I just think of all the friends and all the special people in my life um, that show love and kindness to others and, and uh, how that feels when we do that, Lord. Um, just continue to be with us. Help us to continue to think uh, of you, Lord, and ask for the Holy Spirit's leading in our lives. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you later, alligator.